stuff, culture shock. It's a little bit more uh, fast pace out here. I came out of the womb, I was crying. The afterbirth came after me. It was just so intimidating. I was living in a living room. Like I had all my stuff in the corner of a living room. We started writing these songs and they started coming out really good. When I first heard it, I really dug it and I knew that I could, you know, make my contribution to it. And we're like five songs deep and we're like, dude, we've got to do something with this. So pretty much two weeks before I was supposed to move to San Francisco, I stayed. And that was like a year ago. I didn't know anybody from here, so it, was kind of, it would be hard for me to go and start a band. But Tom had been here for a couple of years, so he knew there's some people being in turn of the screw and being in the, the scene a little while. But I mean, once we got a hold of everybody and got everything going, it just, just got started rolling from there, I guess. Like, everything worked out pretty well. We all clicked really well. I just knew from the first time we all hung out is, you know, it was, we clicked and everything was, it was easy, you know, and that, that was what I was looking for. Eat the crow means to bite the bullet. It means to be humiliated after taking a strong stance and being shown wrong. The first show we did, we put on ourselves. It turned out to be a really, really good show. Basically, we had to put our asses on the line and hustle to get the show going. Getting everything situated with the money and then the, uh, getting the bands of tickets and trying to not lose out of it. Yeah, it was just kind of weird to play there and have them not care and then, you know, a couple of years pass and you get in a new band and all of a sudden you got to sell tickets. Like, yeah, like, it sucks because a lot of the times you kind of lose money. So you're pretty much paying to play. It happens, like the day of the show, shit happens. Things get fucked up, it's just the way it goes, you know? It's amazing. You're nervous as fuck at first, and then you get up there and you just kind of go with it and you don't really think about how nervous you are anymore. I wanted to get into something that was fresh and that I felt really comfortable in, and with these guys, I've found that. These smaller clubs, they appreciate you. They want to say thank you. All in all, it turned out to be a really good show. A lot of, a lot of people showed up and it, it worked out for the benefit of the of the band, I would say. Out here, um, people are very uh, attached to their material possessions. Materialistic, ridiculous people. It seems like a lot of people are just here for their own personal being. It's just way different out here. Like people aren't the same as they are back home. 80s looking, long haired, leather pants, like 80s hair metal rockers just walking around on sunset. The girls are all really good looking, but uh, they're pretty. Uh, they're pretty retarded too. In the past three years, I haven't met a single girl that I really felt I connected with that I wanted to pursue. This chick like made out with me in the driveway. So I thought I was leaving. I thought I was leaving the sex. I didn't tell you about this one. So we go in the hallway. Like she, I'm like, come on, let's listen to some music. You know, like, I'm like she's like, oh, let me just get a bathroom first. So like that was totally her side of like, you know, I gotta clean my shit. And uh, on her way out of the bathroom. Apparently she met somebody better looking than me because they ended up both in the bathroom. Not really worth like trying to like get to know people outside of your group. The only thing that keeps you going is the music. I I'm not in a band, I feel like my life is falling apart. <laughs> I really wanted to do this interview naked. 
And at the end of the interview, I was going to stand up and you would see like a little black bar over my um, huge cock. Um, and I thought that would have been awesome. But everybody seems to be against it. And... It's a slower pace out there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <sighs> this is for all the, the working bands that want to go play shows and stuff. And uh, want to drink before or after they play. Whatever you do, try not to slam your finger in your car door. Do you have any idea what it's like to be a 24-year-old man that looks like he's 15? Do you have any idea how hard it is to go about your day like that? Pot's sticky. Because, see, we're, God, if God exists, we're, he put it on his, the earth so he could roll it and smoke it. This is just bad for you. That's why it's so hard to roll. I mean, I trim. I mean, I don't shave. I, I trim a little bit. So, I mean, it wouldn't be like completely disgusting. And I, I, I've been circumcised, so it's pretty, you know? Um, I just don't understand why nobody wanted me to do it naked. And I'm, I'm really not happy with that.